no. Whoa. Show me what you got. Your kind spreads disease, defeatism and desertion. Take it easy. to death on three pounds of steel. Got a pass? Come on, you don't need a pass. We're from Novigrad, eight generations and more. The war cross is in his email. This no is passage! No pass. Halt! No passage! Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's in order, so I don't, unless someone's got a pass. What kind of pass are we talking about? Well, a normal one. A transit pass. Who issues them? How should I know? I'm a lowly soldier. Who ordered the city gates closed? Word is the king himself. Doesn't want paupers and refugees pissing all over his beautiful city. Apart from which, when folk can go hither and thither, always a chance some spy will slink through. This way, spies got it harder. So, no pass, no passage. Farewell.
winds howling. Blunt, shit your trousers. Ramen supper, I never refuse. Oh, Long live Ramen. The night from the fairy tales. Well, save me. I'm dying of poverty. I bloody well told him not to stick his arse where he don't belong. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. Father send you? Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. 
I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at Mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. Finally we'd had enough, Mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that, that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the Eternal Fire? Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for tomorrow, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting.
desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Unexpected from a witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity. Stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Hope you know what you're getting into. I've never been more certain. The Eternal Fire is the best thing that could happen to me. In that case, good luck. Thank you for respecting my choice. Farewell. What about them mines that took the wenches oh, from Bellows to? Oh, Me cares no fool. Maybe he sniffed out away the mouse.
about him gets soused. He gets angry. You white one, look like you got south last night too. Need a swift kick in the air. Remember me? Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here, yeah. I'm grateful. Drinks enough for a whole platoon since his family disappeared. Slurps a jug of charred spirit and don't even eat. Bollocks. Baron Schmarren. If I want to plow some peasant lass, I will. Don't give cock back no back. You saved my sorry ass. Thought I'd roast for sure. Better mm. get soaked. Whoa! He's angry. He's always drinking. How may I assist you? Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. So long. Witcher, a word, please. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. Could use some hair of the hound. Got any vodka?
There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story, insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Oh, it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taken them all from this damned felon. In this hole. This reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? She all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? I saw her. We talked. She said I could tell you she's safe. When will she come home? And that she's not coming back. She's not to return. But I prepared all for her. Her rooms are white. I sent away for new Pantoblas from Toussaint. How can she not come back? The sooner you accept this, the better. Face it, you haven't been the best father. I have not. True. But I'd change. I'd be different. If only she'd return. If only they'd both come back. Maybe all is not yet lost. She's in Oxenfurt, you say. Or maybe she hasn't left. Maybe she'll hear me out. You can always try. Wouldn't get my hopes up, though. I shall try. I must. Life is pointless without her and Anna. I've nothing to lose. Incidentally, what of my Annie? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours, pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living. Sere, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Kerr Morhen. Witcher school there, I. But they only took lads, as I recall. They made an exception for me. Right. Mean to say you're a she-witcher? Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witchers there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because, you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've knowed one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. 
All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. <laughs> Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Day dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! <laughs> Come on, silly. Don't you embarrass us. <laughs> Your sword is mine. That'll be the day. Best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this, never. Uh-oh, I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna too. How'd you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. My unit smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled, abandoned the perch, once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grab me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed Baron will cease. Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilfgaardians. What could I do? 
cast myself at them and die a hero. Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folk see witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. So long. So the bloody Baron and ripped him a new one. Poor Oi, lads, fancy an outing to find that she beast. Bring the Smiths, lads. Get two fun. Bad idea. Nice tits on it. If I want to plow some peasant lass, I will. They'll give cock that. What's that you're muttering? Need a swift kick in the arse?
Come on, Roach. That's it, Roach.
got a brown misfortune.
to it. Look, there must. There's more which we can do. I have come from far away. I to seek my son. He served in the Nazari cavalry. I must find him. I simply must. I'm not one of your soldiers. This is good. Our army refused to help. Yet help is what I need. So much so, I will ask a rock troll if required. Interesting train of thought, ma'am. Why'd you decide to look for your son now? He wrote letters. To me, to his fiancée, regularly. They would come in the post each week. And suddenly, they stopped. This was unlike him. Something had happened, I knew. Don't mean to dash your hopes, but not all soldiers come home from war. I know what war is. My husband fell at Brenner. But I had his body brought home to Nilfgaard, buried there. I will do the same for my son. If I must. I require someone's help to find Herodoberth, or his body. Coin is no object. What's your son look like? Unlike others, easily distinguished. In all Nilfgaard's army, I do not think there was another with his mane. The color of fire. A red-haired Nilfgaardian? His father hailed from Magturga. Folk have like complexions there. My son inherited this trait and others from his father. May I count on your help? Do my best to help you. You will not regret it. There is nothing I would not do for Herodoberth. Remember this. I'll ask around, see if I can learn something. My servant strove to do the same. He drank with the soldiery in the mess, but met no one from my son's company. It is as if it has ceased to exist. You must speak to the quartermaster. He is dismissive of me, but he will be more candid with you. I can feel it. A mother feels these things. Guess we'll see. Hey, you! Halt! Geralt of Rivia, correct? You were in White Orchard recently. Near Vizima. Mm-hmm. Charming village, if you don't mind rotting corpses. There'd have been one more if not for you. Lena. She survived, thanks to your potion. Nice to see a Nilfgaardian soldier so concerned about the fate of some simple Nordling. But kind of surprising, too. That night, when the griffin attacked her, she was on her way to meet me, in the woods, near the garrison. Lousy spot for a romantic encounter. If the griffin hadn't gotten her, something else would have. I know, but I could only ever get away between watches. Those woods... They were close. Listen, Lena, she has not fully recovered. I took her with me when I was transferred, thought she might get better. But no, she says nothing, recognizes no one, sleeps most of the day. I warned Tamira. Witcher potions have powerful, usually permanent side effects. Can't do anything to help now. Maybe a mage could. I don't know whether to thank you or curse you for not letting her die with dignity. Trust me, the choice I had to make was harder. Ah! Move it! Listen, women. 